Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to bring you a video showing you how I actually bought a genuine Toyota OEM key. Mind you, this is the smart key for a push start for this 2014 4Runner. This is my wife's car. And whenever we bought it, it only came with one key. Well, I am very much a do-it-yourself kind of guy. I've always been big into that. That's what my whole YouTube channel is based around. Doing stuff for yourself in the automotive world. Silverado over there, the process is very easy. There's, you just manipulate a few buttons on a blank remote and it works for you. That's not the case on these newer rigs. After a lot of research, I was really starting to think I was gonna have to go to a local locksmith and pay for a brand new key in the programming. So I went to a local locksmith and was quoted over $400. That's not including tax. Over $400 to get me one of these new keys. And that was with a local locksmith. I'm not talking about a Toyota dealership, but it probably been even higher there. Then I came across Tom's Key Company. And after talking to the fine folks there, I was able to get this key shipped to me with a rental programmer for this vehicle. And on top of that, I was able to get a cut key all sent to me. And guys, no joke, it was literally about half the price to do it myself. It took me about a total of five minutes to do it. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna segue over to Mike with Tom's Key Company to talk just a little bit and show you boxing up our package that we actually got for this key right here. And later in the video, because I think it's really cool, I wanna segue out to the point showing the machinery that Mike actually has to cut these keys right here. So it literally is a one-stop shop for you guys to get a brand new key for your Toyota. And go check out the website, guys. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to show you the website. It's not just for Toyotas. I mean, they've got a vast selection of options for different keys, all different makes and models. So I highly encourage you to check them out. I know they saved me a significant amount of money and I got to learn how to program a key, which I thoroughly enjoyed. All right, Mike, I'm gonna leave it with you. Do you need a new smart key fob for your Toyota vehicle like this? Do you have a push button start vehicle? Well, I'm gonna show you how Tom's Key Company can help save you hundreds of dollars over the cost of car dealership charges to get a new fob made. key finders in. Looks like it's here. All right, guys, today is the day. I've been working with Mike. He got my keys shipped over to me, so you can see it's right here in the box. I've just got this label here to cover up my address so nobody sees it. But you can see, very nice form factor here. It just comes in a regular old box, and you can see you want to cut the box open carefully because you can use this to return the programmer that you get with it. Let's go ahead and open this together. I've just got myself a pocket knife here. Cut right through that. And I'm going to fold the top lid out of the way. And we'll see. All right. See the goods in here. So we've got the cable that will plug into your OBD2 port. And then the other end, which will plug into the programmer, I'm sure. We've got, let's look here. Very cool. We've got our set of instructions, which... You can see here, it looks like it's outlined very nice, specific to my vehicle, Toyota. Print it off, ready to go. Got our invoice here. We've got a return label. So we can just literally seal the box back up whenever it's ready to go. Looks like we have actually got a phone here that we can use to program with. You can see we want to power it off whenever we send it back, but this little phone we can actually use, probably got the application on it. It looks like Mike hooked us up with something here. A surprise for you, never lose your keys again. 
Look at that. All right. Tile key finder. We'll have to look at that. I'm pretty excited about that. Here's the actual little module that we'll use to program the key itself. We've got the key, which looks exactly like my wife's key. This is an OEM Toyota key. And the cool thing about this is not only are we going to be able to do the programming ourselves for cheaper, check this out. I'm not even going to have to take this thing to a locksmith. It's cut ready to go. So we're going to try that out too, guys. And then, look at that. All right, the tiles that Mike took us up with. So we're going to try these out too. I'm excited to check these things out. Thanks, Mike. All right, so you guys can see we've got a nice bag of goodies here. We've got the actual programmer itself right here. We've got our tiles that Mike hooked us up with. We've got a phone that I think we're probably going to be able to use to uh, have the application on it ready to go that we'll use to program. We've got the key itself, brand new OEM Toyota, and it's already cut. Save me a few bucks from having to go to a locksmith. We've got all our directions in here, invoice, and then we've got the return label to send everything back once we're done so we can get a, so we can get a little bit of a refund for returning this back. All right guys, so I have the entire box that Mike sent over to us in our 2014 Forerunner here. So let's, uh, let's break into it and see how easy it is to program a key for us. So just a quick recap here. This is a 2014 Forerunner with the smart key. So it's push button start. So what we're gonna do, is I'm going to open the box that Mike sent us. You can see we've got the brand new OEM Toyota key here. We've got a smartphone that I need to take out and we need to power on. Note, guys, if it's dead, you may need to charge it, but all it takes is a micro USB, as you can see here. Many, You can find one very easy if you need it. We've also got the cable that plugs from the OBD2 to the programmer here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let me set the box out of the way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this end here and plug it into here. As you can see, I've got it plugged in and make sure you get your screws put down here. It's kind of like a VGA cable on a computer. Then you take the o OBD2 side and you come right under the little kick panel here and it's gonna be hiding up in here somewhere. That's it right there. Most vehicles, this is where it is. And you can tell that this one needs to go what I consider upside down anyway. So we're gonna plug this in. And once we've got it plugged in, you can see we've got some lights here. We've got a green for vehicle, a green for power, but we've got a red for Bluetooth. So it looks like we need to come over to the phone here. Let's unlock it. And you can see we've already got the app here, the X100T. So I'm gonna tap on that. Then, we're gonna to go to settings, Bluetooth, and verify that it's connected. You can see it's already connected here. And how we know that is that we've got a blue light over here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm in the driver's seat now, and what I'm gonna do is make sure we've got the phone open here. Cooper's coming to say hi to us over here. Okay, so since we've got the Bluetooth connection set for this, I do have bad wireless signal out here, so I am gonna connect it to my Wi-Fi real quick, which I should be able to just hit my apps. I'm probably gonna look for settings. Right there. Wi-Fi is turned on. I'm gonna tap Wi-Fi. You can see there's my network. So I'm gonna tap that. And I'm gonna turn the camera away real quick so I can punch in my password. Okay, now we're back. You can see we're connected. I'm gonna get all the way out of here. I'm gonna go back to the X100T app. And once you verified, like I said earlier, in your Bluetooth, it shows that it's connected. We'll hit the back button. We'll hit activation. Now we're gonna verify that this is the correct unit. So you can see it says X100T. I need to make sure that that the programmer down here has the appropriate number afterwards. So you can see it's 10213. This, that matches up perfectly with the phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit activate. Now that I've got a good Wi-Fi connection. You can see active successfully. So we'll hit okay. And now we'll hit immobilization. 
You guys see it's gonna download some firmware. Check our license. Perfect. So we are in. Now, since this is a vehicle with a remote start, a smart key, we're gonna hit the smart key system. And we're just gonna run through these different proxies until one works. So I'm gonna hit prox one. We'll see if it connects or not. Failed to connect. We'll hit prox two. Failed to connect. Prox three. Perfect, Prox3 worked for us. If you wanted to, you could erase any smart keys that you may have, but we're simply just adding a new one here. So I'm gonna add a smart key, but also guys, don't mess with this one or this one, the program ECU or reset smart key ECU. You guys don't need to worry about that. We're just simply adding a new one. Okay, so we're gonna hit add smart key. It's gonna connect. It says used a program smart key to contact the start stop button. So just put your good key up there. You can hear it beeped. Now we're gonna take our brand new key and we're gonna set it right next to the button. And you just heard another beep. It says programming success. So let's see, is it a success? Hey, looks like it. Let's uh, close the door real quick. So I'm gonna press the lock button. Locked it. I'm gonna press unlock. Beautiful. Let's test out the horn. Oops, I have to hold it. Works great, guys. So we've got a brand new key fob that I can use now. I can stop uh, carrying around my wife's wallet whenever I need to go somewhere in her vehicle. <laughs> I can keep this right here in my pocket. Now that we're done, I'm just simply going to push the home button on this, get out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and power the phone off. That way they've got juice for the next person. We'll say okay. I'm gonna reach down to the OBD2 port, unplug that. And at this point, I'm simply gonna take the box and I'm gonna start repacking things in there. So I'm gonna send back the programmer, the cable, And then of course the phone itself. I'm gonna put it back in this little plastic bag to keep it get, from getting damaged. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that back in there. And then I can use that prepaid label, put it on here, tape this back up, send it back and get my uh, refund for my deposit for borrowing the equipment. And the awesome part about this is it's a one-stop shop over at their website. Check this out. Mike even cut the key for me. So let's test this out and see how it works for us. So I am curious, guys. We're going to test this thing to the fullest right here. I am going to lock it. Because one thing that's really cool about these smart keys on these Toyotas is that I should be able to come right up here, put my hand on here. Perfect. It unlocked it. And then if I'm getting out, going somewhere, I can take two fingers, touch right there, and now it's locked again. Yep. Works perfect. I like it. Okay. Whew. Now for the moment we've been waiting for. So in the event your smart key dies, battery is really low, and that doesn't work to unlock your door, it does have an emergency key here. So I'm going to take this emergency key out, and we're going to test and see if this locks and unlocks the vehicle. Okay, that was unlocked. So that should lock it. Locked. Unlocked. Beautiful. Works flawless. Look at that. Like I say, guys, that right there is great because now I don't have to pay extra money to go to a locksmith. I literally got everything I needed delivered right here at home. Didn't have to go anywhere. So I've got a new smart key and an emergency key for my wife's 2014 Forerunner. Thanks for checking out today's video. If you enjoyed this, if this is something you guys want to do yourself, check out the link down below. I'm going to link it right over to Mike's company. So show the guys over there some love. He's got a great team. They were easy to work with, very responsive, and Mike took great care of me. I mean, he sent me everything I needed to do this, and we even got to test out and see how the emergency key cut went, and it went flawless, no issues.